So virtual reality is getting increasingly powerful and affordable, but what use is the best technology if people get motion sick? So to try and combat this, we created Hyperjump. Hyperjump is an embodied leaning-based interface that uses a combination of continuous motion, dashing, and teleporting to bypass velocities that make you feel sick. We know faster continuous movements are usually the cause of motion sickness, but forcing you to slow down your movements in VR means we sacrifice user experience and enjoyment. And while teleporting helps to avoid sickness, it typically requires users to switch between different locomotion methods. Hyperjump lets you maintain your desired net speed and enable smooth, empowering movements all in one seamless interface. How does it work? The more you lean in the direction you wish to go, the faster you go in continuous motion, which switches automatically to dashing or teleporting at certain speed thresholds. It is perceived as jumping, and the faster you wish to go, the further you jump. If you hit a velocity where you would otherwise feel sick, the system starts teleporting you without reducing your net speed. So the idea is basically we take out everything that we know makes people sick in virtual reality. So uh, you see in front of me a prediction of where you go, so you'll literally jump to the uh, next location. The more I lean, the faster I will jump. And if somebody is getting motion sick very easily, we can change the threshold when you start hyper jumping. So the user experience is fully parameterized and we can adjust all of the various different parameters in real time, either from the editor or from the hand controller. So I can allow Ivan to go very fast indeed. So he's quadrupled his speed and I can slow him down so that we can essentially change these parameters as we go. So we're standing on both the physical upper one, so I have tactile feedback from my uh, feet and a virtual one that actually has three ranges of motion. If you move your head into the fly zone, you're flying, and if you move further out, you're in the teleport zone. So with the lean-based uh, motion model, you give yourself a bit of additional motion cue. This helps to give a better sensation of self-motion immersion and presence. It's hands-free, so I could use my hands for any kind of other interaction at the same time. So you could also just use a controller, you can do it while sitting. Here, that's the most embodied one, so you can literally fly around this environment. You can just do this uh, interactively without having to think much about it. And here we try to create an interface that gives you this kind of feeling of empowerment, of control, of agency. So you flew across a city, which is kilometers of distance, completely under self-control, and you have no motion sickness. Zero. So our aim is to really enable people to try this out for themselves and have developers integrate this into their applications to really reduce cyber sickness. It requires no additional physical setup or equipment, no extra cost, and it can be integrated not just with leaning-based locomotion and flying, but really any input device for ground-based locomotion, flying, or even underwater. So I'd like to create as an exhibit where people can try this out themselves while being in Vancouver and try this out while being in the actual same environment and do things you could never do in reality. People can fly synchronously at the same time. You could even fly together with people who are remote in different continent, different time zone, and fly together through this environment. We try that with users who are extremely susceptible to motion sickness, and even those people did not get sick at all in this environment. So for us, that is really promising. To make VR more inclusive and accessible, motion sickness needs to be eliminated and empowering experiences enabled. Accordingly, this provides another step towards a realization of VR's true potential.